Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. And the only reason I know it's Wednesday is because today I had my lunch meeting. Remember I referenced that yesterday? Also, I'd just like to call attention to the fact that <laughs> yesterday I, I forget what I'd done, but right before I shot my video, I was practicing with my new um, teasing brush, which I referenced in one of my blog posts. And <laughs> I came in here, or sorry, when I was uploading my video in the other room, I realized that on the video, when I turned and I went this way, you could see like there was this part sticking out. Go back and enjoy it, it's pretty funny. I left it out there just for you guys, because I have absolutely no, I almost said no humility, no pride, is that right? Yeah. Um, anyway, I came in here because I'm getting ready to put up a post and I, I had such a great lunch meeting and I'm always so fired up when I meet with somebody who's another outstanding entrepreneur. Wow, that sounded cocky as I just said it. Like I'm talking about myself, like I'm such an outstanding entrepreneur. Although I am very proud um, of what we've done and I'm learning to take credit for that instead of always going, oh, it's no big deal. Um, especially women, we do that a lot. Um, but anyway, I don't want to sound like too much of a douchebag. But anyway, I had a great, great meeting and that's gonna be uh, segueing on one of my next uh, videos. I'll tell you who the company was and, and why he's so awesome and uh, we are going to be doing a lot of stuff uh, together, Fitfluential and them. But, so I was really fired up and, and he was asking a lot about this whole, um, or, you know, we were updating each other and I brought up the whole trip to Phoenix and this, you know, feeling I have of being revived about getting closure, getting an answer to all of this crazy hormonal imbalance. and. I was telling him, and I'm shooting this video specifically for those of you that have already reached out to me. You, I've had people reach out to me on Twitter. I've had a couple of guys send their girlfriends to me that you know because they said they've she's been dealing with this or that. See people on Facebook write to me. I've had emails come in. People are writing to me. You know, you're writing to me on on my blog. Um, a couple comments below in in the videos um, on YouTube and. I appreciate everything and it gets me so excited. Not that you guys are all having similar problems like I've been dealing with, but I get excited because I can, I can maybe bring you out of that hormonal hell um, and let you find the answers and finally feel like I do, where for the past four or five years, I have just felt like, you know, I think the best way that I can describe it metaphorically is that you know, imagine that you're trying to swim for the shore and you're just, you're out, <laughs> I keep thinking of that show Lost, you're out and you can see that, you can see, uh, you know how that bothers me, you can see the island that you need to get to, right, and, and that's when you can relax and chill out, but you're just, no matter what, you keep swimming and you keep swimming and you're stuck in the same place, whether it's the tide or whether whatever, that's how I've felt in my life for the past four or five years. Um, from a fitness perspective, from a fitness perspective, it was a big deal, you guys. Some people write to me and they go, I don't understand, why, you're, why are you insecure? You know, they'll used to say, you look great, which I appreciate that. Um, you look great, you look fine, you know, I don't know why you're insecure. Or they'll say, you know, you're too hard on yourself or whatever. All, there's a lot of things all together. And, and half the reason that I'm sharing this with you guys is I think so many women, um, we diminish how how much it can affect your life when you are insanely insecure, when you're paranoid, when you don't feel good, and how it can affect all areas of your life. If you're in a relationship, it can affect your relationship, or it can affect you feeling comfortable to get into a relationship. Um, I've been on both sides, okay? Um, it can affect your work, your business, you know, when you're not feeling good about yourself, when you're in dealing with pain, if it's, you know, pain, in my case, I had pain from a skin condition, it affects everything. And then from a fitness perspective, for me, to be so gung-ho, so dedicated, working so hard, and literally to just stay in exactly the same place. And you guys might think, oh, I saw your videos, and you know, I like your arms, or this. You guys, I have really been, even though I would make progress, I'd only make a little bit. You know, I, I get this far, and even, when I got down in the past, I'm thinking about like the past three years, three, four years, the leanest I got, I was still, based on what the goal weight we're shooting at now, um, 
I think I was still 13, 14, 14, 14 to 15 pounds overweight, even at the leanest that I got. And that was a big deal. And guess what? When I did that, that was not uh, 2014, it was 2013. And guess what? I was not on the pill, okay? The big thing that I want to drive home today, I'm going to talk about all that other stuff. But ladies, I, I, I can't say this strongly enough based on everything that I've learned. It's not like I just read an article that being on the pill is bad for you. I have had people tell me that being, is, being on the pill is bad for you my whole life. But I just always would get an attitude and be like, well, you know, what, are your, what are your options? I'm not going to get into sex talk here, okay? But I just, you know, part of it for me was managing my cycle and I just got used to it. And I had convinced myself that there were no side effects. Um, I'll cover that in one of my next videos. How women, we tend to poo-poo a lot of the side effects that we have instead of giving, you know, credence to them and looking and going, wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. I'll talk about that in another video. Being on the pill, when I say this to you guys, it's not like I just read an article. I'm like, oh my God, I just read this article. I've got to tell everybody to get off the pill. The reason that I'm so adamant about it is I've been on the pill my whole life. I am just now realizing how much the pill destroys your hormones, okay? It just completely jacks your hormones. That's what it does, okay? And if you don't ask questions and really understand, what is this doing? You're ingesting hormones to alter, you know, your cycle in an unnatural way, in a synthetic way, okay? It will, it, it will accumulate everything you're taking. I was just talking to someone else who was like, she's trying to get pregnant and she's been off the pill for, you know, two years. She's having all kinds of problems. I hear that all the time. That was never a goal of mine, okay, to have kids. But I'm just saying what I know now and knowing that I have been taking hormones my whole life and not realizing that that was messing up my hormones and that messing up your hormones causes this nightmare that I have been dealing with for the past four to five years, I would never, 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 never have gone on the pill, ever. And I'm just, the more that I talk to some of you, some of you that are writing me already, you're already, some of you are on the same pill I was on, that low, low estrogen which they tell you, oh, it's very low estrogen. That could screw, that's what gave me migraines. I have never had migraines my whole life until I went on low, low estrogen. Yes, I think, I hope I'm saying it right. Am I saying it right? And I went on that, um, let's see, I wasn't even on it for a total of eight months, but the totality of how that started to alter my body and my life and my health and my weight again, um, and I never put it two and two together. I had migraines and I called the gynecologist and I'm like, is this, you know, it says that this is a side effect of this medication and, and should I stop taking it? Cause I've never had migraines my whole life. And they said, you're on too low of a dose of estrogen for it to be causing that. It's probably just you. Okay. I've never had migraines my whole life. And guess what? I've been off the pill. I took my last one, um, three weeks ago, haven't had a migraine. Now I've had headaches, but they're more like withdrawal headaches. There's a huge difference between a headache and a migraine. You guys, I really want to keep my videos under 10 minutes from now on. This is for ladies. Get off the pill. If you are on the pill, do everything you can. And trust me when I tell, tell you, excuse me, as well. If you go to your doctor that prescribes the pill for you, even if it's a gynecologist or, you know, say it's your primary care doctor or whatever, just know that if you say, oh, well, some chick named Kelly Alexis said this and, you know, blah, 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 you'll probably get, you might very well get resistance, okay? Those people are, and I'm not, I'm not trying to beat them up, they're, they're paid very well by the certain pharmaceutical companies that produce the pill, okay? So they're not going to look at you and go, oh, hell no, you shouldn't take the pill. Maybe some of them will, but most of them are incented, like they are with antibiotics, with anything else, to just keep giving you pills, okay? The, Best advice I can get you, if you're having headaches, if you're having weight gain, if you can't sleep, if you have mood swings, if you have irritability, heavy periods, leg periods, weight loss, weight gain, any of those things that I've talked about in my blog, and you're on the pill, get off the pill. Even if you're on the pill and you're not having side effects, you need to start looking into it because what I know now, when I saw my blood work and I saw how messed up my insides are and how much of it is caused from ingesting hormones for since I was 20, 
Oh my God. I wish I could go back to my 20 year old self and not only tell myself to not wear that thong bikini on spring break, but I would also say, uh, well, that's a whole other bunch of stuff I'd tell myself. Thank God social media wasn't around back then. That's all I have to say. Um, and maybe I would have told myself, no, I'm not gonna talk about that stuff. Anyway, you guys, I'm just, for those of you that are writing me, tune into everything. Start doing research on specialists in your area that deal with women and natural hormonal balance, okay? Get off the pill. It's the best thing I can tell you to do. More on the rest of this stuff later, okay? You gotta trust me on this. You won't regret it.